Hello all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there, this is Rigothian here. Today we're going to do a special edition rally based battle card. As you see right above here, we've got Attila, and then over to my left, your right, is Nebuchadnezzar. Couldn't fit the man's name inside of the box, so we went with Nebu. That's what he goes by in game anyway. So here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to compare these top two rally combinations, right? So uh, Attila has his own pairings and then Nebuchadnezzar has his own pairings. We're going to compare these top two rally sets in the game. Now, there's different types of rallies. There's different scenarios. There's different KBK situations, all those good things, right? Doesn't matter, okay? This is what's going to happen. We're going to compare it by damage, by survivability, versatility. Who's the better city rallier and who is the better open field rallier? And I get this commander question almost every day. Who should I go for? I've got Attila with some random skills in there. Nebu just came out. Should I keep going for Attila or should I go ahead and get Nebuchadnezzar? This will hopefully solve that problem for you. You just need to know what your role is, and you will be able to pick based off of this battle card. Okay, so let's jump into it. First things first, damage. I think this comes as no surprise. They both do very, very top flight damage. Again, these are the two best ralliers in the game as of right now, March 2nd. This is the way to go. Okay, so if you have either one of these, these two are going to cause damage. Now, we're also in the world of Zenobia and Theodora and YSS and all that, okay? So what that means is different situations call for different rallies. That's what the next few spots here is going to help you figure out which way you should go. Survivability. I'm going to give the check mark to Attila. He is still hard to swarm, still very hard to swarm. Nebuchadnezzar, while he does have extra defense and he does have good AoE damage, He's still a skill-based commander, so that means that while he is pumping out a ton of skill damage, it's not quite as impactful as the normal slash counterattack damage that Attila pumps out to his target and to any other target that are hitting him. Getting that counterattack damage is insane. And if you're swarming without maximum heroic anthem buffs against somebody who has max heroic anthem buffs you will kill yourself instantly you'll instantly zero about a million of your troops so don't do that <laughs> so survivability goes to attila so right now we're two versus one in favor of attila next category versatility how many pairings can you use this commander for um you know when you think of these commanders what kind of pairings do you think of i definitely am giving the check mark to nebuchadnezzar attila is basically Attila Takeda. It's not Attila, right? You've got Attila, some, there's some Attila Chandra rallies out there. There's some Attila William rallies out there. People who are trying to get fancy and sneaky, but it's just not an Attila rally. Um, there may be a couple decent reports floating around there where somebody had an Ethelfled double C primary or something like that against an Attila Chandra or something, and it worked just fine. But Attila, when you say the, the name Attila, it's Attila Takeda. That's it just you have to have Takeda maxed. So Attila and Takeda maxed up together. Really great pairing, but that's about it. You're not going to use Attila with other commanders 99% of the time. Okay. Nebuchadnezzar, however, works very well with multiple commanders. You've got Cyrus, you've got El Cid, you've got Edward, you've got YSG, you've got uh Ramses, you've got Artemisia, you've got all these different commanders that pair very well with Nebuchadnezzar. So versatility check mark definitely in the Nebuchadnezzar camp on the right side. So now it is two versus two. It is evened up. Let's see how this goes forward. I'm going to go ahead and hide myself so you can see the rest of the check marks. So there we go. I'm gone. Oh my goodness. I'm still here though. All right, here we go. So the next one is going to be city rally. Who is the better city rally and why? Attila gets the city rally check mark. Now here's the deal. As we're going through some reports here that you're seeing right in front of you, Attila just does more normal and counterattack damage, which is what causes more severely wounded units. We've gone through this in prior videos. It will be slower damage, but it will be more impactful damage coming from Attila, whereas Nebuchadnezzar 
or really any skill damage commander like Nebuchadnezzar, he will drop a city very quickly because of all the skill damage you're pumping out. But skill damage does not translate as well into severely wounded, which is what fills hospitals and which is what causes dead, as well as normal and counterattack damage. So for that reason, Attila is still the number one city rallier in the game. And and guys, it's I won't say it's not even close because it, it is, it's fairly close, but there's a noticeable difference. There's a noticeable impact on the Attila Takeda rallies versus Nebuchadnezzar. When you're going up like versus like against the latest tier commanders in a city rally, Attila tends to just get better reports. Better reports being more dead, more hospital full. You're getting a two to one, three to one, four to one trade on top tier style commanders as garrison. Now field rally. There's a reason why we split this up, isn't there, right? We're gonna go ahead and open it up and say Nebuchadnezzar is the better field rallier. And again, I, I, I've got a couple reports that I can show you guys where Nebuchadnezzar just trounces the top tier that I'm showing you, but there's not many Nebuchadnezzar rallies out there, rally reports out there that I've got where I know for a fact the talents were right, the gear was right, the, you know, the situation was right, the reinforcement was right, the field was right. I, I've got a few of those, which is what you just saw, but I don't have a whole lot. So that's what I've got, and I wanted to show you that, but just based off experience, fighting in KBK Heroic Anthem, and then doing testing in Ark with Nebuchadnezzar, with Attila, and then certainly out in the open field on level one passes. Nebuchadnezzar is the better rally situation for the top tier garrison commanders, which again is going to be your Zenobias, your Theodoras, your YSSs, you know, those kinds of commanders, even Artemisia in there. Artemisia with Theodora is a great pair, um, even giving... Attila a run for his money, but Nebuchadnezzar is breaking through some of those things because of the extra skill damage that Artemisia gives its attacker. So um, just lots of things that are, are going into that, but this is the breakdown. So what does this mean? What's the summary, right? Let's summarize this. If you're a city rallier primarily, or if you don't have the best gear, okay? Like I'm talking horn, I'm talking dagger, I'm talking... Um, you know, all the, the heroic anthem style equipments, um, Attila is going to be your best bet because you can get a lot of bang for your buck when you're rallying cities. Now, if you're the main rallier end game for your Alliance slash kingdom, and you're going to be facing the top tier garrisons in the open field in KBK. And then certainly if you are focusing on arc as an, uh, as a focus for your account, Nebuchadnezzar by far is the better situation to be in so with that in mind that hopefully will break down which one you should choose if you had to pick which a lot of people do have this question do i go for attila and max him out finally or do i go for nebuchadnezzar well you need to figure out what your role is are you a city rallier primarily and you're not relied upon by the alliance and kingdom to do main open field rallies or are you a main rallier for your alliance slash kingdom and you need to be bringing the best against what is out there right now, which again is Zenobia, Theo, and YSS, and then you know, combinations of Artemisia and Wu in there and all that good stuff. So hope this has been helpful for you guys. I hope that you use this to the best benefit. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. Looking forward to bringing more of these your way as the days go on. See you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Take care.